Hello, my name is Joe, and welcome to another edition of Joe's Super Fantabulous PC Gaming Channel, where I'm playing Dawn of Man. This is kind of an interesting little thing where uh, you have your tribe of early humans, and you try to lead them to victory as they evolve and through the ages. And so here's my little community, Rock. And, uh, well, Rock is a thriving community. There are plenty of people here. We're, you know growing our population, domesticating animals, learning to farm, you know, all the important stuff. Uh, we have lots of stuff to cut down in order to make room for even more farmland. And I'm sitting here watching to make sure that my people remain fed. Also concerned about ensuring that we have places for our animals in the winter. So we're seeing about uh, putting up some stables here. Uh, looks like all we need is mud. So we have to extract some mud in order to glue this structure together, as it were. Yep, mud never goes out of style as an adhesive. <laughs> Still popular uh, in parts of the world today. Okay, and it looks like that got taken care of. I was clearing out a little area here for this uh, little mining community. Oh, the totem is pending three bones in order to be erected. All right, so Let's see. Oh, and we are putting up defenses. So we're currently constructing a palisade uh, around our little community. Uh, so far, well, it's got a ways to go. It will take a lot of wood in order to do this. But it'll be worth it in the end. So hence the designation of all the trees to be cut down. Uh-oh, uh new animals are being born, and quite a few. Here comes a pig. Oh, but this is one of mine, apparently. Yeah, I'm concerned. We our animal population has shot up quite a bit, so I'm keeping an eye on these uh, haystacks, which is an indication of how well we'll be able to feed them, as well as having enough uh, stables to house them in the winter time. Otherwise, they will freeze to death, exposed to the elements. Workload is too high. This is a common complaint that my people have. They're all like, Joe, you're, you're working us to the bone, man. It's like, yeah, there's a lot of stuff to do. And we never seem to have enough people to do it. It's considered fall. Uh, I apologize if you can hear that. Uh, I'm in a temporary recording studio. <laughs> I'm in the process of investing in a little soundproofing and uh, moving to another uh, room that will have better acoustic qualities. Uh, oh, look at this. We have little pigs. Little pig, little pig, come join my community. You'll eat a lot better than you will with, with those guys. Speaking of which, since they're right here, this could help feed our community. OK, 
Okay, here come the hunters. I've taken them away from their regular jobs in order to uh, take care of a potential target of opportunity here. Oh, I heard that. There's a whole herd here. Oh, how delightful he's coming to us. Coming right to us. Okay, this one first. I will reprioritize here since we're being nice enough to come on over. Alright, so that's one. Well, don't turn around and go home. We're going to get another one. We haven't domesticated deer. Uh, since she is in the lead, I have her go after that little boar and try to catch him to keep him from running off. I know, you guys are tired and hungry. They're like, why, Joe? Why do you make us do this? It's like, well, it's for the good of the community. What can I say? Shear me. Shear me. I know, the workload is too high. The workload is always too high. <laughs> Well, this should help with getting the bone for that totem. Oh, good. Uh, the sledge will help to uh, bring back all the uh, animal products uh, more expediently. instead of having to make a bunch of trips. These sledges are so useful that I probably need to make at least a couple more of them. On the plus side, if we end up running out of food to feed the animals, or places to house them, well, we can slaughter a few and simply eat them. Hmm. 
I'm wondering, you know, I have not been paying attention to how much, uh, does the well ever run dry? Or it just needs repair from, uh, uh, maintenance from time to time. Hmm. I'm not actually sure. Ah, all that meat for everybody. Excellent. Oh, good. Wow, that boar apparently has a lot of meat. I'm just surprised that it didn't all fit on a single sledge. is always too high. Well, it's true. Now we have a harvest uh, that needs to be done. So let's prioritize that, I hope. looks like a rather violent shearing. It's like, where, where did my, my clothes go? Why, human? Oh, more boars. Well, I think we're okay right now. We have plenty of food. Alright, we are catching up on our, our tasks here. Whoa, but we didn't finish harvesting our fields before winter arrived. That's not good. Hmm. That's not, not great. Uh, the trader has nothing that I want. So... They were so busy with other tasks. Uh, all right, well, I guess that's a consequence of having the workload too high is I need to figure out how to prioritize um, getting them to work on the fields versus anything, because that's a time-sensitive issue. Chopping down trees is not. Looks like we have plenty of room for all the animals. We're still doing okay in terms of food. Although I'm a little unhappy that uh, the fields didn't get their full attention. I guess I'll lighten up on the workloads.
Although, if he's gonna come right over here and it's like, are you sure you don't want to hunt me? It's like, yeah, okay, I will hunt you. Can't say no when they just walk right up to the community here. I've survived another winter. Whoa, and we had lots of new animals born. A little population explosion here. Okay, so I guess as the animals get old, they automatically get flagged for slaughter. Hmm. I was wondering whether or not I had to designate them for, for slaughter or not. Let's see. I haven't done much fishing in a while. All the fish. Well, how about 75% of the population? <laughs> Okay, I'm trying to ensure that they're not overtasked, that uh, this stuff gets done. human is born. Whoops, hey. Darn it, I'm torn. Well, here, they've almost got the fields planted here. And we can see about going and grabbing a snack over here. Or better yet, we can domesticate some of these guys.
I thought I saw something lurking over here for a moment. I was like, wait a minute, is that something hiding over there? Yeah, apparently we're all about child labor here in my little community, so... <laughs> all these kids mining. <laughs> I see the little uptick in food. I'm guessing that's from fishing. Well, we certainly have quite a few pigs. have to remember to that'll be continuous and when the time comes we'll have a couple of people do it now oh, these are sledges which are pending leather wrong button. <laughs> uh, in Planet Base, the uh, game that precedes this one, you can increase the game speed uh, by just hitting plus or minus, but uh, here apparently the controls are just a little different. The concept is the same and the function is the same. It's just having to remember. I can't just easily toggle it up and down by hitting plus and minus on the numeric uh, keypad. Oh, you know what? We've been accumulating some knowledge here. We could move on to the Copper Age. You are about to enter the Metal Age. It is highly recommended that you fortify your settlement and have enough people and weapons to defend from raiders. Are you sure you wish to proceed? Yes, I will dare. Dare! Oh, and fruit tree domestication. I wonder how that works. Um, okay, we have a trader. What do you have for us? Rye domestication. Mm, I don't have enough for it. Can't really buy any goats. I'll take your copper ore, though. We have these flint axes that we produce, so that's our cash currency right now. Make sure to get a nice even trade. Copper smelting unlocks the production of copper in pit furnaces and the metalsmith structure and the creation of copper tools and weapons. Unlockable through the Copper Age. All right, so now we need to see about getting some copper. Oh, defense. <laughs> One of the keys to survival is to defend your settlement against hostile animals and raiders. During the Stone Age, the main threats are wild animals and sporadic bands of raiders. 
make sure to have enough weapons and people to defend the settlement against them. In the Metal Age, things will get more serious, and large bands of attackers will try to destroy your settlement. It is highly recommended that you build fortifications and defensive structures. At any time, you can trigger an alert in the defense panel. Your people will then run back to the settlement and get the best weapons available and man the towers. Okay, well, I will try to ensure... Oh, look at that. Uh, yummy animals running through here as my... Yeah. Ugh. Not enough stable space. We already have... Uh, too many animals. All right. Well, and that that means it's it's that time. Time to cull the herd. Old female. You know what? Okay. Allows you to plant fruit trees. I've been resisting cutting down fruit trees because I couldn't plant any new ones. Uh, oh, something grew up there and blocked my efforts to plant. <laughs> now, wait a minute. I'm sitting here planting, and I was going to build a palisade through here. <laughs> oh, well. Uh-oh. Look at that. Uh, I'm tempted, but the last time they didn't manage to get all of their work done. So I'm not going to overtax them. I want those fields cultivated. You know what? And how far are we over on stable space for animals? Now here we go. Domestic animals is F8. And we currently have 33, but only space for 30. 15 pigs, 12 goats. Sheep just don't seem to want to reproduce from me. <laughs> you know what? We, we've got pigs. Um, the goats at least produce milk and whatnot. We did really well with pigs. I'm, I tend to prefer the males first, and uh, that way we can keep the females around. There we go. And this time it looks like, uh, oh, well, we have one more spot for cultivation, but uh, it looks like this year it, it will happen, and we won't run out of time. Which is good. Like I said last year, I was like, oh, come on. Although food supplies are plummeting. 
Well, it's a good thing we're harvesting pigs right now. <laughs> And let's see, we'll also grab a goat or two. Old male, yeah, which equals lunch. This should bring down our animal population and at the same time will help with our current food situation. So yeah, now we're down to 28 overall and we have space for 30. Okay, since the fields are filled with uh, things being ready to be brought in, maybe we can go on a hunt in order to supplement our food stocks. Oh, even better. Here comes a hungry bear. And the bear is going to cause trouble. So we'll just go ahead and preemptively take care of that bear. I think the bear is on the hunt, and so are we. As we don't want the bear poaching in our neighborhood. Wow, they're just gonna stab this bear? Guys, doesn't anybody have a bow or a sling? You gotta have some moxie here to go stab a bear. Oh, and let's get this guy, too, because he's wounded. Shouldn't go to waste. And uh, All right. Three kills. All right. From here, well, we have a lot of work to do. Got all this grain and whatnot to drag out of the fields. Lots of meat to harvest.
Oh, and here comes a trader. And, and what does the trader have for us? Hopefully you have sheep. Because I just can't seem to catch any sheep or breed any sheep. I don't need any more pigs. I'll take copper. And bones come in handy too. Because those are a pain. And linen. Linen's good too. Um, let's see. What do we have? Our big cash crop. Flint related items. <laughs> Probably going to have to make some more storage space at some point. The mammoth has gone extinct. That's very sad. I liked hunting mammoths. Okay, since it's winter, I can give them all kinds of tasks and not have to worry. Because they're not busy with the fields or anything like that. Teach Saruman the White a thing or two about clear cutting forests. Only there won't be any ints to stop me. Uh oh, what is our population? Okay, 43 of 44. busy over here. <laughs> There's only one one place for, for flint. Let's see how these flint mines are doing. That's iron. Speaking of which, we need to find a source of copper. This is the copper age after all. Okay, so that's tin. I assume that's tin. Oh, that's copper. All right, so we found our first source of copper. This is a significant raider attack. Oh, but they're coming over over the ridge there, huh? Yeah, we'll be waiting for them. Everybody come back. Get your weapons. Well, unfortunately, they clustered at the wrong um, place, and it's 
So lesson learned. All right, so I'll, I'll have to actually, uh, <laughs> once they cluster someplace, uh, indicate where they need to go fight. two defensive towers out of that location uh, so they could be a little bit more survivable next time. another winter. Oh, and here comes the trader. That's right, I was trying to get a mine started for copper. Oh, is that where the copper mine is? All right, then we'll take that. Sheep. You know what? I will buy some sheep because I can't seem to catch any. I'll also take any copper ore that you have. This is going to cost me dearly, but... In order to get the sheep going here, I pretty much need this. Value one? Oh, come on. Well, we can lean on our harpoons. We're, we're not really using them all that much. Oh, and much more heavily on the, the flint, since we can still produce that. In fact, I'll go with Reckless Abandon. getting a little carried away. Well, let's see. There we go. That, that'll work. So, there's a nice trade. So, these sheep will help keep our population up, I hope. So the sheep we do have are getting rather elderly. Let's make room. I know. I'm trying to work on that exact problem right now. What does this mean? Resource exhausted. Well, you know what? Then we'll just eat her. We are low on knives. <laughs> yes, I know, I know. And that's all my fault. But you know what? We will produce more. What is this? Oh, because apparently we don't have enough 
We only have one hearth. Uh, they're coming over here to cook stuff. <laughs> here, let, let, let's see if we can fix that. Production uh, hearth. Okay, well, it doesn't matter that we don't have enough room for the animals just yet because it's not winter. You know, we just came through winter, so we're okay for the moment. Bread knowledge. <laughs> Uh, all I know about bread is I, I like to eat it. Okay, there was a defensive tower here. I wonder if it lets you just build on bodies. It's like, yeah. Apparently not. with a claustrophobic community here. And there we go, Metalsmith. Let me guess, mud, mud. <laughs> Lots of mud. Okay. Oh boy, it's really going to beat me over the head about this and, until we uh, decrease our animal population. We are working on it. One of the things that I was wondering about with the trader is that when you make things with the trader, or I mean, uh, trade things with the trader, is that of your spare materials or all the materials you have on hand, as in taking them away from your people? Um, and I'm starting to wonder, hmm, if it's, it was actually taking knives away <laughs> from the population, and that's why we're low on knives. Well, we have flint. Uh, we should be producing more flint items here. In fact, we can move the knife up in the priority. There we go. Knife, knife, knife.
I'm still erecting this copper mine. Well, could have sourced some wood locally. You know what? Uh, scratch that. We don't need to do that. I, I guess they already have all the materials they need. It's just pending assembly. You know, on second thought, we could make all the metal on site. It's just, huh, I'm just wondering if it's actually worth it. I think it'd be better just to drag it back. There's iron. Flint. Ah, oh, here's some more copper. Oh, excellent. A couple of more flint mines in order to keep things going for a little bit. Yeah, it's starting to look like we need to have another satellite mining community over here. There's... hmm... You know what? That's a good idea. All right. So scratch these construction projects. We won't place them here after all. Oh, no, but you're already starting. Uh, yeah, there we go. Before it actually finishes, we could have it over here. And the distance will be shorter. Actually, you know what? Here. All these things, uh, let's see. Not much else to extract there, I guess. Should gather up all this flint, stone, cut down these trees. Well, I hate doing it to trees with something good on them, but. Uh, we need this space. Okay, gather up all the sticks from here. It's 100%. For structure, copper mine. Excellent. Unfortunately, it's quite a haul uh, to get all the copper back from there. And like I said, with all the stuff that's going on over in this neighborhood, I thought, why not set up a satellite mining community uh, over in this direction as well? I mean, there's even more here. Iron... Copper, iron, yeah, it's warranted. I could have my copper production here right on site. Trying to make room for the palisade here. And here, we'll get rid of this stone.
get a couple people to harvest these wild plants. Oh, maybe we can capture these. Let's see how our population is doing. Well, we're almost right at the limit. Our little satellite mining station over here has been doing really well. Keeping us uh, in Flint. And now we're going to go ahead and repeat the same thing out here once we have a path cleared. Actually, what might be even better is to just put it right up here on the top. We can clear this off. As a matter of fact, yeah, there's a bit of flint there. A bit of stone. Okay, and to help them get started, let's designate a uh, location for a hut. Oh, you know what? That is the one thing that I've been forgetting at the other satellite camp. <laughs> well, I guess they can go walk back and forth, but uh, it would probably be a good idea if they had a water supply. Uh, it was something that didn't occur to me. Oops. Unfortunately, as we saw by um, how bad that attack was, I need to really be ready to defend these things. So we'll also have defensive towers that are ready to go up right away and uh, help defend these structures.
because this looks like this will be a much more involved mining community than my other satellite community. There seems to be a great deal more mineral wealth here. Struck by lightning? Oh, come on. Oh, well, seems we've had a spot of bad luck there. Oh, that only is the wild ones. That doesn't include our own pear tree. <laughs> Okay, let's get a rock pile going here. To make it easy for them to uh, bring in the various bits of ore for processing. As much as I hate to do it, we're also going to cut down the, the trees up here. So we have more area to build. So that charcoal pit. Hmm. Oh, but before we do that, we need to be able to have things like a, a hearth. And there needs to be a source of water. Totem. We can put in a charcoal pit. Get a pit furnace going. To look and see where it's going to let me have this. prioritize the wells construction since that will be important for the uh, 
the work crew is here uh, erecting this site. Okay, I'm trying to source as much wood locally as possible for the construction of these uh, various structures. 1,000 sticks. <laughs> okay, that, that's worth some knowledge, I guess. They are busy with that. Let's see. Okay, pear tree uh, continuous production. Ah, first structure charcoal pit. So let's see, what is that doing for knowledge? We're learning all kinds of stuff. We can domesticate donkeys. Required for brewing, all right. Not enough stable space once again. <laughs> That's okay, we will eat them. Let's designate the old male pig here. Oh, I have an injured boar over here someone could finish that bore off. In fact, let's see how bad the uh, stable situation is. Okay, we have 37 domestic animals and only... Hmm. 31 animals that need shelter. Okay, well, once they complete the uh, slaughter of the animals I've indicated, we should be okay. That charcoal pit going. Ah, pending building materials. Uh, we need some mud, which means dragging it from the river, unfortunately. 
but it simply has to be done. Who are you? Dog, young female. Oh, this is one of ours. She's wandered rather far. Hello? Hello, little animal. I heard you. Crying out in the wilderness saying, Joe, please come take me home. You're complaining at me because you haven't gotten around to doing what I've asked you to do. load is too high. Actually, that's not a good thing when it's harvest time. <laughs> ah, acquired charcoal knowledge. I, I do want them to focus on the harvest. start gathering flint and uh, there we go and we can begin construction on a new copper mine Well, let's see how they do. Will I be disappointed that my fields don't get tended to? Because everyone's busy doing something else? Does that bring us down to an acceptable level? <laughs> Sounds like it. Uh, the warning... Oh, oh, workload is still too high. Yeah, we're going to run out of uh, time and the crop will be lost. Oh, great. We have sheep born. There goes the crop. Wonderful. <clears throat> well, we are trying to expand. It's just I, I have to temper my expectations and not overwork these people because it, otherwise I don't end up getting what I want. That's my own fault. If 
flint mines are, well, they're still going. We are still producing flint items. Oh, that's right, not enough t stable space. Uh, normal speed. So right now I have animals freezing to death. How many animals do we have? Animals that need shelter, 38. Oh my goodness. Well, we're going to eat well. We are going to eat well. It is, it's time to slaughter some pigs, I think. Old female. So that's one. Two. This will make three. So out you come. There she goes. the elements get her before she gets slaughtered? <laughs>
wonder where that flint came from. Actually, I'm wondering why it's coming here. Oh, probably because it's just going in the raw pile. Fuel. Once they catch up with uh, slaughtering the animals, we should be okay. Ah, looks like we have an incoming trader. see what the trader has for us. Uh, I think we're good on animals. <laughs> but what we could use is copper ore. Yeah, I'll take the pulses too. Cured meat's not a bad thing. Uh, we can always use leather. What the heck, I'll even take the bread. Basically everything except the rye domestication. We have quite a few linen outfits. Maybe we can lean on that for a change instead of exclusively on the flint uh, items. Hey, we survived the winter. <laughs> Our workload is too high. Yes, the workload is always too high. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to ask them to drag a whole bunch of mud from the banks of the river here. And carry it a very long way.
Whoops, wrong residence. Doesn't block the gate, does it? Yeah, I, actually, it might. Oh, we can locally source a little wood here for various different things. Since I seem to be chronically short of manpower, I'm trying to basically increase the amount of people we can support by having plenty of housing. of it. Oh, you know what this does not have? This little satellite area is missing actually a couple of things. Um, <laughs> a metal smith which is the whole point of coming out here. And storage. There we go, we can place the metal smith right here. Oh no, people are contracting diseases. Well, that's not good. It's just pending some mud, and then we'll have more room for more animals. Trader. What does the trader have for us today? Goats. <laughs> we have goats. We'll take your copper. Mm, we'll even take charcoal. 
flower doesn't hurt because it's nice and cheap. You can always use dry skins. And in return, we can offer. Wow, is our flint resources petering out? Yeah, we'll just trade all the flint spears. Looks like they gathered up all the mud that I asked them to. Well, we need more. Oh, <laughs> I have to wait for the mud to replenish. Hmm. Been really, really pulling that mud out. Alright, so the metal smith is up. Which means we are ready to begin producing uh, copper items. Bronze. Ah, requires bronze smithing. And we need a crafter. Come on, let me fit in a crafter. There we go. Okay, let's see. What are we talking for animals? <laughs> we have space for 40 and we have 43. It's this constant thing. Let's see, old female. We'll slaughter her. Well, of course, the goats have been getting a bit of a pass here for a while. Let's see, how, what does our goat population even look like? Come to think of it. Um, let's see. Well, no, no, the pigs dominate. Look at that, 22 of them. Oops, and here it comes. A raider attack. Where will they strike? It looks like they're going after our satellite community, unfortunately. This is what I was afraid of. Alright.
Oh, uh, there sure are a lot of them. Darn it, this place wasn't finished. Defenders. There goes my satellite community, ostensibly. Guys, come on. Ah, I worked on this place. Well, defenses are a top priority, apparently. Oh, good, they're not going after all these <laughs> other structures. a few people, but they're not getting a free ride here. We're going to make sure that we take care of them. Well, that's irritating. So much for my little uh, expansion area. It, it's largely intact. They smashed the defenses and tore up a house. Well, both the houses. They wrong button. Well, let's see if I can squeeze this in here. Just looking for some place where I can here look at that I, I can fit it right up there excellent all right then that's where it'll be one way or another this this blasted little community is going to go up and uh, we will get all of these uh, materials out of here whether uh, the Raiders like it or not Yeah, we'll see about making making some stuff here too. Are we still celebrating? <laughs>
Well, at least the uh, fields were largely uh, taken care of. 